I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world-class bullshitter he was my best friend to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about I... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. 
Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! <sighs> hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. 
We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her.
Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah, he's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. 
The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip socks! Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. win. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad. Right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. This is what? How convinced were you that that was going to work from one to ten? <laughs> like a three. Well, that's more than zero. Foosball champion! Foosball champion! God damn! <laughs> Shit family! Oh! <laughs> Good game. Thanks, Alex. 
I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you going to do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard, and yet. See, I can be a person. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Not much to toast at the moment. Why are dishes always the first thing to slip when your life falls apart? It's a start. Okay, that did make me feel a little better. Living off these is not great, but it's better than leaving the apartment. So long, depression food. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. At least I got to have a few good moments. Ultimate foosball champion. I like the sound of that. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say.
The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon, I swear. No birds today. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. We should have gotten so many more sunsets. I thought this was gonna be the one, finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Thanks, Jed.
Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. R, M, and T, B. I wonder who they were.
Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah, no rush. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Wanna do something together next week? Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What 
What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call. And I'm gonna prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can also get you high. I really probably cost more than my bus ticket. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Put some clothes on. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. I could tell he's a little steep, but can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Nice contribution, Gabe.
and he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. I see why Gabe was so in love with her. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. Too bad I can't just run away from all this. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... 
still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. Memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. How does she hide all of this? If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know about my condition, they'll make me close this place. Holy shit. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? 
Did you trim these flowers today? Don't remember. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did you maybe call someone? Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. <sighs> Goodness. What was the order for? order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God, she doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Wake! I... missed it. Alex... I'm... I'm 
I'm so sorry. Hey, it's um... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. Oh God, they're multiplying. Okay, this shirt rules. Is it Riley's? Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Hope I get to see what happens next. Ninth Warden's cool, but
but not as cool as Thanor. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. Haven's favorite, and only, choice for modern rock. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike. But first, a few announcements. The spring... Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Festival Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. Uh. Oh, God. This LARP thing just might work. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge?
I don't get it. One more? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are we always just going to scrape by? Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine. You were right about Piratey Peaches. Oh, I was right, huh? <laughs> How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum raisin harder. It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting actual rum in it again, have you? Uh, no. Any... Time to get the truth. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. I feel sick.
I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. I hope it's good news.
I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. This location gets all the foot traffic. And the park looks fun to explore. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. You're writing a novel? Since when? <laughs> I just... This is cool, in a wicker man sort of way. He looks so alone. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you wanna talk about it? I'm fine. Okay, definitely not fine. I'm here for you, whenever you need me. This whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Nice to know, hipsters can survive at this altitude. Wind chimes, the original jam band. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep.
Nothing says festive like three exclamation points. These overnight shifts really... Oh, you heard about the accident. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. If not for the paddling, kayaking would be super relaxing. Not sure when the words Gabe Chen and Wake will stop being weird. But now isn't it. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Maybe Riley knows something I can use against Mac. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I 
I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Okay. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. We're done here.
Vincent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. I 
saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. 
How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something that makes you so angry 
you just want to scream. You really focus until you feel it. The wasted potential. You're angry for me, for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. <laughs> They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Gabe. A goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well... They are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with, with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. 
But that... That was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now, I guess, just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build.
I love you, Gabe.